Hi. In this series, I'll show you how I made this Gar Saxon helmet from the final season of The Clone Wars. In episode one of the series, I'll show how I turned the 3D printed parts into this final helmet and smoothed them out for paint. The second part will show how I got the electronics inside the helmet to work to make the face mask light up. And the final part of the series will show how I painted the helmet itself. This was a really fun process, and it took me about a week and a half to complete. So, there's a lot of footage, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks. Okay, so the first thing I need to do right now is a lot of the areas where there was support material, um, I need to crisp up these edges and make them a little smoother before I go in with the Bondo and the spot putty. So I'm going to do that with a file um, and then maybe a little bit of sandpaper. Since this is printed in PLA plastic, it really doesn't like being sanded on its own. Uh, so I'm going to be pretty gentle with this and um, hopefully it goes well and doesn't need a ton of filling. Okay, so now that I've taken the file to all this, it's a little flatter than it was, but there's still a little bit of work to be done. But I don't want to remove much more of this material. I just uh, removed the extra material from the supports. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over with my giant gallon of Bondo. And I honestly need like a quarter ounce of this. I'm going to use so little of this. And I'm going to put this over all these edges and start cleaning them up. Uh, because I want this to, there's holes that need to be patched and the glazing putty isn't great for patching holes, but it is good for taking care of these marks. So, Bondo is the next step. Okay, so I've got this cleaned up pretty well, so the next step I'm going to do is adding glazing putty to it. Now this is a new trick I just learned from a Van Oaks video where you mix the glazing putty with acetone and makes it a lot thinner so it can be spread more evenly. And the acetone flashes off really quickly so it doesn't affect the dry time very much and you can apply a bunch of coats. So I'm going to use that technique for the first time on this.
Okay, so after about a minute of sanding, this is what the sanded side looks like, and this is the unsanded side. This technique shaved a ton of time off my filling and post-processing that I normally do. So I made a little bit of dust, as you can see, but it's starting to come, it's come along. As far as first round of sanding and filling goes, this is by far the best result I've ever had. Um, now I just need to spray it with some great filler primer after I take some alcohol on paper towels and wipe this up. There's some, some small inconsistencies in the surface, so I'm going to use this Bondo uh, applier to just apply the thinnest coat I possibly can. This will go over all the cracks, leave very little behind since it'll contour to the, the shape. So spots that need filling will get filled and then, but 90% of it will remain the way it looks now. Okay, now I need to figure out these horns, uh, smoothing them out before I prime them. Um, I printed a couple extra because there were some print issues. For some reason I was having some under extrusion, but I have four good ones now. So these all need to be filled and then sanded before I can prime them. And then once I have the, the ear pieces are currently printed, so once those are printed and attached to the helmet, I can start attaching these. Okay, so the helmet is starting to look pretty good. There's still some inconsistencies and small surface defects. Um, so I'm going to start wet sanding it. This will just make the sandpaper last a little bit longer, give it a more even finish. And to do my wet sanding, I spray it with Windex. Okay, so <clears throat> helmet sanded to where I need it for the moment. I'm gonna do one more coat of primer and sand once everything's attached. But now it's time to start adding the ear pieces. Uh, these have built-in alignment, so they should be really easy to attach. And I'm just gonna use super glue because there's built-in alignment, a lot of surface area, um, and it should hold just fine. Then once those are attached, I can start attaching the horns. Uh, which require these to be in place before they can go on and there's no built-in alignment for these back horns So I need to do a little research look at some reference and see exactly where these go then mark those and add those um, I'll be doing I'll be adding the horns with super glue and Then to add a little more detail what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, epoxy dough roll it up and try to make it look like weld lines Okay, now to glue the front horns on. This should be pretty simple because they have, um, as you can see, there's a little lip here and this is where the line is and then this part below goes over the earpiece.
Okay, so I measured out and marked a couple spots for these to go. I'm not sure if this is the right look, so what I'm gonna do is use a little trick where you put a little dot of super glue on some blue tape, and then put blue tape on the other side, stick it all together, and it makes a little semi-permanent uh, double-sided tape it can be easily removed when I'm ready, but this is just to check alignment, see if this is how I like it. One of the nice things about this is these horns, according to what I understand, are a last minute addition to the helmet. So they don't need to be perfect. They just need to look good enough. And I like that. I think that's roughly where I need to be. I need to bump the back right one over a little bit and then these will be perfect. Okay, so now that all the horns are attached, my next step will be to add epoxy putty to all the seams. Now this will accomplish three different goals. Um, since epoxy putty is an epoxy in clay form, it'll strengthen all these bonds because they're just held on with super glue right now. So it'll make them a little bit stronger. Two, it'll fill all the seams because there, as you can see, there's a little bit of a, a gap between the helmet and the horn, which is fine. Um, it was never gonna be a perfect fit. And the final thing it'll do is it'll add a little bit of storytelling because the way I'm gonna apply this, I'm gonna make it look like weld seams because these horns were a last minute addition to this helmet. So if it looks like they're welded on, it just adds a little bit more detail and helps tell the story of why this helmet looks like this and how they actually made it. So now I'm going to roll it up um, into really thin strips, add it, and then smush it with the back of this paintbrush to give it the little uh, crescent effect that uh, actual welts would have. Okay, so now I have a coat of primer over the whole thing. It's looking really good. Um, the welds look way more natural now that it's all blended in the same color. Uh, once, once it's painted and I hit these with rub and buff and make them really shiny compared to everything else, it should look awesome. Now the last thing I need to do before this thing's ready for its first coat of black paint is I wanna make these look, the horns look like they're uh, cast metal, unlike the rest of the helmet. So what I'm going to do is using a chip brush, I'm going to just dab Mod Podge over the whole surface. And this should leave a little uh, texture that when they get painted, it looks like cast metal. So that's my next step. So I think this is where I'm gonna call it a video. At this point, I have everything ready for paint. I still need to do, I still need to figure out how I'm gonna do all the electronics on the inside to uh, make the visor illuminate. Um, but I have a pretty good idea of how I'm gonna do that. Everything is assembled now. The horns have their texture and it looks really awesome. Um, the camera is having kind of a hard time picking it up, but it has a nice cast metal finish and then that's gonna be ready. So my next step for this will be to paint it all black um, and then start figuring out what parts are gonna get uh, each color. But for right now, this is done um, till the next video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, um, 
like, subscribe, and then uh, stay tuned for the next part of this video. Thanks.